Hi everybody, happy Monday. Welcome to this week's coffee and card. Um, it's half past 12, just after half past 12. Sorry for the day, I was just having a few technical issues. I hope I've got everything on my desk um, for us to use. So today we're going to be using some brand new products, which is really exciting. Um, for those of you that tuned in, you would have seen that I did my unboxing on Friday from my pre-order. Um, so I've had a little play over the weekend and I'm going to show you this lovely card that I've put together using the Jar of Flowers stamp set, the new Jar Punch, and a few other little bits. So let's get cracking. Hi to everyone who's joining. Please say, please feel free to say hello. Um, so we're going to put this card together right here. It's got a little bit of dimension to it, not too much, but just a little bit. Um, so we're going to be using one of the new ink colours, which is Just Jade, and I think it's beautiful. I'm really enjoying it. Didn't actually, it wasn't one that jumped off the page at me, but it's actually one of the first ones I've used, so that's exciting. Um, I'm going to use some of the DSP, Designer Series Paper. I'm going to do a bit of stamping, a little bit of embossing, and a couple of new little techniques to show you, or handy techniques, sorry, they're probably not new to some of you. Um, the Jar of Flowers stamp set, it's really, really fun. Um, there's a lot of layering options that you can do um, great for colouring and it is one of the um, it's two step stamping but it's also a reversible stamp so I'll show you a bit more about that as we go on so to start with I'm going to pick my DSP so these are the new DSPs these are flowers for every season and these come from the suite that goes with the in colours. Um, so it's lovely. I think it'll be really popular. So I'm using this lovely dot. And on the back, some really bright flowers. Which are just fab. So they are our DSPs. The 48 sheets in a pack, which is really handy. And then I'm going to use some thick whisper white for my card base. So this card base is a tent fold card base. I'll show you how to cut that. I haven't even had time to make myself a cup of tea today, so busy day so far. Right, so we're going to lay this in a uh, landscape and we're going to line that up at 14.9 centimetres and we're going to just score that all the way down. Things are getting in the way today. And then to cut, so we'll actually get two card bases out of this. We're going to line it up at ten and a half centimetres. Excuse the state of my nails. I need to take my nail varnish off. Cut all the way down. So there we have our two card bases. So we only need one. So we'll just fold that in half. And then our DSP, I've actually measured this slightly differently. Oh, hi Kayla, she just knocked off work, lovely. Hope you had a good day. Thank you, I'm enjoying playing with all the um, new bits and pieces. So for our DSP layer, I'm going to take it down by a whole centimetre. So we're going to cut it at nine and a half centimetres. And a centimetre smaller will be 14 point, sorry, 13.9 centimetres. And that is our layer for there. And then we need a piece of this for white. So we're going to take that down by another centimetre. So we're now going to cut this at eight and a half centimetres. And then we're going to turn that and cut that at 12.9 centimetres. So I'm just creating my layers that I need. And I need this piece here for some additional stamping. So that's me finished with my trimmer. So we can move all these pieces away. Okay, so now the first thing we can do is we can attach our DSP to our card base. So all I'm doing is I'm lining that up in the centre so that we have an equal border of white all the way round. Going in with my Tombow. I've had real issues with Tombow this week. I managed to get absolutely covered in it. Um, I had a bit of a blockage situation and the whole thing just ended up everywhere. Okay, so we just pop that on there. 
Now our piece of white that we're going to use for the front, actually that's a bit smaller. I've not measured that very well, have I? So it should be a bit longer. I'm going to do that again. So put that up, because that can be my bit for my stamping. So let's just roughly measure this. So that is 12.9. Who knows what measurement I took it down by. Maybe I did 11.9. Even I make mistakes. Let's see. Yes, that's a better size. So now, this is our piece for the middle, which is what we're going to do most of our stamping on. But before we do it, before we stick it down, we're going to decorate it all first. So that is our card base that we can just pop to one side. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp this lovely diagonal stripe. This is one of the stamps, this one here. See that there? So we're going to use that stamp. Now, if we were to turn that stamp over on our block, we would get this lovely infill look. So the great thing is it's reversible, um, which is lots of fun. I know lots of you like reversible stamps. Oh, lots of people joining. Hi, everybody. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Christine. Hi, Mum. Hi, Hilary. Glad you found me. Hi, Jenny. Oh, it's great to spend time with you all. Thank you so much for joining. So I'm going to use Smoky Slate. I love smoky slates, one of my favourites. And then, so you'll notice that this stamp is not as long as our card. So you'll see here you've got a bit of a join, and then under here there's even more of a join. So just think about where you're going to start stamping and where you want your join to be, and that's where we're going to stick our sen sentiment after. So just ink up my stamp nicely and then I'm going to line up the bottom of the stamp with the edge of this white card so just stamp like so you get a bit of a washi tape look I think um, I do love a bit of washi tape there so we've managed to actually cover that join ish it's not too noticeable but the idea is it's hand stamped, so actually if there is a few odd bits, it's all part of the process. So we've start we've got our join there, so I'm going to start again from this end. And then just push down. Lovely. It's the end of that one. Just be careful with this because actually it's you need to pop it on your ink pad diagonally. And then the last one, like so. Yeah, so I'd say that's more of a join, so that's where I'm going to pop my sentiment. So now we've done that, we no longer need Smoky Slate. We actually need Basic Grey. So for Basic Grey, we are going to, onto our bit of Whisper White. No, this is our spare bit of Whisper White. Here, we're going to stamp our jar. Again, this is reversible, so if you wanted a plain the plainer look like so without the outlines you would just turn that image over um, but we actually want this this detail so we've got our basic grey and we're going to stamp that onto our card like so and now we can use our jar punch so all we do is we turn it, our punch over we line up where we think that's so you get that lovely white border all the way on the outside and just pop that out so that's our jar done we also need so that's quite a stark image on there and i didn't want that i wanted something a bit more subtle so all i've done is i've punched one out using vellum and here's a piece i used earlier and that is the piece we're going to stick over it but we weren't going to stick that one yet so that's our punch used you can put that to one side now we're going to pop our jar on and we're going to stick that down so it's nice and flat okay get it so it's roughly in the middle of that piece and now we're going to go in with our sunflower stamp so we actually need to stamp two of these 
we need to stamp one on our base light base card and we need to stamp one on here because you'll notice on the card that those flowers have been stuck on with pads so you get that three-dimensional look so we're using it so that the thistle is at the top so let's bring our card back into shot and we're going to stamp this so that the bottom of the flowers overhang the jar Okay, now don't worry because you won't obviously see that because we're going to cover that up with our 3D flowers and just push down nicely. Baz, I bet you can guess where I got the inspiration from. So a few years ago we had a similar set called Jar of Love um, that was very well used. Now don't worry too much about this because that's all going to be covered up. The main detail that we wanted is this up here and this thistle. Right, so back to what we're saying. The Jar of Love stamp set was very similar to this. Very different, but a little similar. And I absolutely adored making some cards at a team training event. And they're still on my shelf now. And this card has been inspired by that card. Uh, so we're just going to stamp this again on our Spare Whisper White. Push down quite firmly. And then lift off. So we have our two stamped images, like so. And like I say, but this area here with the sunflowers is going to be covered up. So this doesn't matter at all. So now what we can do is we can start colouring. So at the moment there aren't any blends available to purchase that go with the ink colours. There will be some, um, but they're not currently available. So we're going to use, for the, blue, for the green, to go with our Just Jade background, we're going to use Dark Shaded Spruce. And if I just put this on here... So this is dark shaded spruce and it's pretty much the same as just jade it's a really good way of matching up the colors so we're going to use this for our leaves so the leaves that we've got on our so this is our card that we're going to use and this is what we're going to cut out so we don't need to worry too much about actually we don't need to color in any of the leaves on this piece we need to color the leaves in on this piece okay so i'm just going to bring that camera down a bit more so you can see that's better so I'm gonna color just really lightly just with lots of little strokes the background of these leaves this is just tying in that just jade color which is just beautiful and then over here on our thistle nice bit of therapeutic coloring for a Monday Hello to everyone who's just, a few people have just joined, I've just seen a notification. I hope you're all safe and well. Just making today's card with our new jar of love, no, jar of flowers. Stamps it, see I've got it on the brain now. Okay, so I'm just lightly colouring in. I'm not adding too much shading on these leaves. Just building up a little bit of colour where the those corners okay and over here we've got a bit of stem okay and then we can bring in there is a little bit of leaf on this one here that I just noticed that's it so there we have our shaded spruce or just jade look that we're going for now the sunflowers I have used what have I used I've used dark daffodil delight and light daffodil delight so to start with I'm going to put on the dark and this is going to be just on the inner part of these sunflowers so again I'm coloring on this piece of scrap because we're going to cut these sunflowers out and add it to our card find this sort of technique is great for look, for getting the image that some flowers are behind others so just put that back in shot so you can see it and I'm just adding the darker color towards the center of those flowers those petals even and then what we will do is we will add that bit of shading in after 
with a lighter tone and our colour lifter. Okay. So there is my light and now so there is my dark sorry and now we're going in with the light so now i'm overlapping with the color i'm going towards the very tip of the petals and then i'm just going over that darker color to blend it all together okay. so you can see you get a little bit of blending there okay I'm just using the finer end of this blend pen because it's quite a small image. And with this colouring, I always start with the lighter colour on an image and then move on to the darker colours. So now we've got our petals done, we're going to colour in our sunflower center so i've got light soft suede and i've got dark soft suede so for this i'm going to start with the dark in the center i'm just going to add in a little circle of color looks a bit odd at the moment and then we can go in with our lighter so as i said before i'm just going over that darker color in the middle with the light to just blend that all together. I've missed two petals there. Okay. And then you can just keep going over until you're happy. And then I find with these sunflowers, what I like to do is I just go around in little circles, but over that center line just to get that little bit of of blend and I think it just makes it pop a little bit more so I'm just going over that little line because some flowers they aren't all straight lines are they they're all they're such beautiful flowers happy flowers okay so there we have our sunflowers coloured and then the last thing to do on this piece is to colour in this little leaf here what I've done is I've actually coloured it in blue to match the thistle but you could colour that in in any colour you wanted to so for the blue I've got Knight of Navy I've got the light one I'm just adding this colour very gently I'm not going all the way to the edge because I'm going to use the colour lifter oops to blend that colouring together. Is it this one? Is this one? So now all I'm doing, I'm going over that line to blend that colour out so you get that real soft tone. Can you see that? And then you get the inner colour that looks darker like so so that will dry now all i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this out so i'm just going to move this up slightly there's no room for my hands so around this bottom part i'm actually going to leave a white line around the um, stamped edge just to get that little bit of i think it just looks more finished Okay, so I'm just going round each petal. And then when we get to this edge, we want to cut off all this stamping that we haven't coloured in. So now I'm going to move my scissors in so that I cut out on that petal line. And then I will show you a really handy technique to make that look a bit more refined once we've cut everything out. Just oh, I haven't coloured the um, haven't coloured the rest of the yellow on that one. I will do that in a moment. 
and then when you get up here and you've cut off all that extra stamping you can revert back to your leaving the white on it just makes those images pop a little better I can't believe I forgot to colour that sunflower okay, so now we're going to cut off this thistle Around like so. I'm just going to cut this bit off because it's getting in my way. Let's just move it all the way around. And then when the, all the that stamping has gone, you can then resume your white. Border. It would be fab, Mr. Stamping Up, if, as well as the punch, we could have a die for this, please. Just putting that out there. As much as I love fussy cutting, I do love a die. So there we have our cut out sunflowers. So before we go any further, I will just finish colouring this sunflower in, the one that I've missed. Okay, so that's the sunflowers coloured in on there. Now we can bring our base piece back in. So what this is going to happen is this is going to be added to there but onto pads so you get that three-dimensional look so now what we can do is we'll just finish coloring this in here so for these blooms I'm going in with a bit more blue light of navy should I say and then this so I've colored in where I want most of the color to be and then with my color lifter going to go over that to blend it all together it just really mutes those mutes the ink okay so there we have our finished coloring on there so you'll notice on this well you may not notice I notice it because the color we've stamped onto white and it's really hard to pick this up you can't really see it so your, where's my smoky slate? I have here a smoky slate stamping writer, right marker. When you add this to your card, and this is my attention to detail, you'll notice where you've cut these things out, these flowers out on the line, you actually see white tips. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to get rid of that with this stamping right marker. So all I'm going to do is where those white tips are, where we've cut on that line, just going round the edges very gently to get rid of that. You get more of a finished look. And that is actually the only place we have that. You get more of a finished look. And it's just a little technique that I like to use. So now we've done that, we can actually stick that on but before we do that, we can, we're can we going to pop this onto our card front. So we're going to pop this in the middle so that we have an equal border of the DSP all the way around the edge. Like so. So that's half a centimetre either way around. Morning, Denise. Thank you. I like the sunflowers too. They're beautiful, aren't they? We can now add this. So you'll notice that it covers up all the stamping on our jar. But I've just remembered we have our little vellum jar. So this jar here that we've stamped 
actually is really vibrant. So to make that a bit more muted and to tone it down, we're going to stick this piece of vellum over the top. So all we've done, for those of you that weren't watching, is we've cut the vellum out, cut this jar shape with the vellum from this jar punch. Okay, so because we're going to cover up all of this stamping here, that's where we're going to stick it. So we don't see that glue. Okay, so just line that up and push down really gently. So you'll see here that it's, it's not stuck on at the bottom, but it doesn't matter. It's all part of the, the look. Now we want some dimensionals, which are here. So I'm going to add a few dimensionals to the centre of these sunflowers. A jar punch, yes, a jar punch. <laughs> Love the jar punch. It's beautiful, isn't it? Okay. So now we line this up like so. So now we have our three-dimensional flowers on our jar and then we're going to create our sentiment so for our sentiment this thank you comes from another set I haven't learnt the name of it as of yet um, let me just see what set it is it is blossoms in bloom so it's this stamp set here and I'm using this thank you and then I'm going to use this lovely punch just move these blends out of the way so this punch here cuts these lovely tags, but in three different sizes. So to start with, I'm going to cut a piece of the Just Jade cardstock. And I've just got some scrap here. Yes, I have scrap already. And I'm cutting this down so it's half an inch wide. Don't worry about the length, because we're gonna trim that down to what we need. So I have my half an inch piece here like so and then this will create two different styles of banner so I'm going to use this one so all we do is we lie this in these channels so this is our half an inch channel so we just slide that right in so that it reaches the top under there and then we pop down and then pull it out if you can get hold of it you can and you have your lovely tag so if you wanted to create a double ended tag like that all you would do is slide it back in and I can show you this because I'm going to cut it off and repunch and you have your lovely label like so so it's a really handy punch and this will do three different sizes so you have an inch three quarters of an inch and half an inch there super handy I think that's going to be really popular so now we can for those of you that were here when I when I started, we were going to join this up, cover this little join. So this stamp here is not as long as our card, so we do have a join. So over here you don't really notice it, we can put a gem there to cover it up. Um, we're going to cover this up with our label, so you'll just think that's continuous stamping all the way down. So a nice little tip there. And then we're going to do some heat embossing. So we need a little embossing buddy, so this will just clear off all the static on your cardstock to make a more of a crisp embossed look and then we have a Versamark ink pad and the thank you sentiment I've just added it to the block already and then we can stamp this in the middle like so and you'll see that's just stamped like so and then what we do is we dip it into our embossing powder I'm using whisper white embossing powder tap off the excess and then we can set that with our heat tool which is just here so you'll see that's a real powdery look camera won't Zoom, right set, and then we can set that with our heat tool. So you'll see this will change, it will go brighter and shinier. So that's starting to go now, the camera won't really pick it up for some reason. Okay. 
So that is all set. Oh, I've missed a little bit. Two seconds. That's better. Okay. So you'll notice that now it's got a nice little shine to it. That means it's set. And then we line that up where we want it to go on a card. On the card. And then we can pop a little dimensional. So I'm actually going to use these edge parts for this. These, these are great for when you're trying to stick a banner on. Let's just snip that down. I'm going to pop that underneath the thank you words. Courtney's just left a comment. Marvellous way to start me on Monday. Oh, thank you. Hoping my paper pumpkin comes today so I can get the new ink colours. Oh, it's exciting. I so wish we had that, that card, that paper pumpkin this time. But the global one would just have to do. So for those of you that aren't sure what I'm talking about, Paper Pumpkin is a product that's available in North America. Um, each month it's a subscription service. You get a box of goodies that make up a whole kit um, of lots of different cards. And they're, they're stunning. They're so sought after. We had one last year here in the UK. And we do have another one coming in August which I will share information about when I can. So we're just snipping off that banner. So there we have our little sentiment. And then I have another little bit of stamping to do. So I've got a bit of scrap and I'm using this always sentiment. Now this comes from the Lovely You stamp set, which coordinates with this label punch. But because I've cut it down quite small, it, the wording wouldn't have fit on there so I'm just going to add this little bit of extra detail so I've got a memento ink pad and I'm stamping that onto whisper white like so and then we can cut this out bit of fussy cutting for you I'm just trimming around the outline of those words this would look really nice heat embossed as well. But it's good to get the different textures and the different styles of stamping on your cards. I'm just following this all the way round. I really need to do my nails. Maybe I'll do that this evening. Let's just follow it round. Here we go, nearly done. Okay. So there we have our little sentiment. So thank you always. Love the font on this sentiment. A little bit of Tombow. And that can go there like so and then I have two things just to finish that off I'm going to add a couple of these in color enamel dots these are available in the new catalog and you, I'm going to put one just over here to cover up that little join not that you can really see the join I'll just pop that about there and then I'm going to put one over here and then one down there, okay? And then the last thing to do for this card, you'll see there's a bit of ink splattering. So to do that, I'm using a basic black stamping right marker and I'm using the felt tip end. And then all I'm doing is I'm popping the, the felt tip end against the lid and I'm just flicking the ink onto the card like so so i'm just doing that at the top so there we have our finished design for monday so here is my original and here is the one we've just put together so they're identical i would say and that is all for me so those products will be available in june you'll find out a bit more about those as we move towards june and you start receiving your catalogues if you would like a catalogue sent to you and you're not already on my mailing list please do let me know your address and i'll pop one in the post they're going out this week and I look forward to seeing you all soon. I hope you have a lovely week. I'll be back here on Wednesday at half past eight in the evening for some more stamping. And I'll be making two cards for you. 
Stay, take care, everyone. Stay safe. Bye-bye.